today on Florida Sport Fishing. Woo! Oh! Gotta get out of here, man. April, probably the last cold front of the season. Awesome fishing. This is a big, big sailfish. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Sailfishing in April, baby. All day long. Ho ho, what on? CV Boats presents Florida Sport Fishing. Television for the avid angler. Powered by Mercury Marine. Oh, yeah. There's a sailfish. Already got a bite. Ridiculous. Another one on. Another one on. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Nice jump. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses VMC Coastal Black Hooks, engineered to withstand the harshest saltwater environments. Salt Life Optics, Italian style and Zeiss lenses provide unparalleled contrast and clarity for finding fish faster. Tsunami, a complete line of tackle and tools designed and manufactured for maximum fish catching success. Boat Outfitters, from replacement parts to hard to find hardware, boat owners and builders count on BoatOutfitters.com. King Sailfish, providing anglers worldwide with the finest fish mounts. Visit KingSailfishMounts.com and order your trophy today. Hey guys, welcome to Florida Sport Fishing TV. I'm Captain Mike, we're aboard our CV370Z. We got Captain Carlos up in the bow. Got Jonathan over on the flatline side. We're outside Hillsborough Inlet. We just got set up here doing some kite fishing. You guys know how much we really, really enjoy kite fishing. It's mid-April. We got a little cold front that just came through. I'm gonna set the stage for you here. And literally the temperature dropped about 30 degrees in the last 12 hours. So we're hoping that that really triggers a hot bite here. We've got a northwest breeze, 15 or so, 10 to 15 probably a few higher gusts mixed in, but really, really good conditions. We're able to fly the kites without the helium balloons, which really makes our life really easy. Nice, clean water. Got a chum bag in the water as well. There's some cobias around, so, you know, I don't know how it's all gonna unfold here, but we're getting off to a good start. Regardless if you're inshore or offshore, whatever it is that you're doing, and certainly when you're kite fishing, you know, where do you stop? Where do you stop the boat and fish? There's such a big ocean and so many different opportunities. So what I like to do is really look for the right conditions, but multiple conditions. You know, I look for bait, I look for birds, I look for current, look for clean water, and certainly readings on the sounder. And I try and combine those. When I see readings on the sounder and I've got clean water and I've got current and there's some birds and bait around in the area, I'm gonna fish there. You bet, I'm at least gonna do one long drift through that area and see if I pick anything up. So it's really about finding that combination, not only the one, you know, not only the, the presence of the one type of, may it be debris, or like I said, that current or the birds, but a combination. And that's what we have right here. Oh, Carlos looked up! That's what I'm talking about. But I mean, exact scenario, it all came together. You know, it doesn't look like a huge fish, but doesn't matter. Well, he's racing at me. I you don't know, know what is it, it is. coming right at you? It's taking line like crazy right now. All right, now. let him go. It feels like a tuna. Does it? Yeah. Nice. Is that on a goggle eye? Yeah. Okay. Hasn't jumped, so it definitely doesn't look like a sailfish by any means. It's a blackfin. Blackfin, yeah. Yep. Little tuna. Nice, dude. That's a chunky monkey. Yeah, he Nothing hit it fast, with that. dude. I was just checking the bait, resetting them, and boom, he ate the short. Got him. Okay. Fat tuna. Oh, look at that. The hook just came out of him right there. <laughs> yeah. hook just came out of him. A little 10 pound chunky tuna. I'll take it. Heck yeah. Good way to start. Nice. Yes, sir. Nice. Nothing wrong with that. The award winning Z Performance line from CV raises the bar. It's not just fast, it's not just fuel efficient. The CV Z is the entire package. It offers the perfect balance safe, predictable handling during hard turns and at high speed. And most importantly, the Z stays on plane at lower speed so it can comfortably handle anything Mother Nature can dish out. Experience the exhilarating ride of the CV Z. Schedule a sea trial today.
Geico, more than just car insurance. What if navigating was as simple as touch and go? It is that simple. The world's first multi-touch MFD chart plotter, Navnet TZ Touch. That's true for Dynamo. Yeah! How's that for a sea monster? Chaos. Gear matters. Shop online or visit our new superstore for everything fishing. So we just got started this morning here. We're still literally just wrapping up our first drift here. We know we've got that northwest wind and with the current, we're being pushed to the southeast. So I started my drift at around 125 feet. And again, we're being pushed offshore, south and offshore. So we're gonna keep, probably go out to about 250. You know, there are some dolphin. I like to fish a little bit deeper as well. But as the morning progresses and as these drifts progress, we're really paying close attention. Where are we getting our bites? Where are we reading the fish? And as the day progresses, we can narrow that down. You know, we can say, well, you know, 100 to 200 feet. We want to be in that zone. We want to be in that strike zone of 100 to 200 feet. So we know, you know, once we get past that 200 foot mark, hey, bring them all up, run back up for another drift. On the other hand, sometimes you'll pick fish throughout the whole line. So the key is, again, just paying attention, you know, don't just come out here blindly and just let it rip, you know, pay attention to what's going on. Every single bite, what you see around you, weed lines, make a mental note and get dialed in as the morning progresses. Got him. I think it's a dolphin. Yeah. Hey, that's dolphin sandwiches. Certainly not a huge dolphin. I mean, a little guy, but Colorful. the point is, you know, we're fishing our kite baits, but on the flat line side, we've also have some baits, you know, up on the surface, some flat lines. We got a deep bait as well. Look at that VMC 5.0 live bait hook right in there. Did its job perfectly. You know, you've got to have that presentation all around the boat because believe it or not, that one fish can make a big, big difference. Obviously this guy's not changing the world, but he could have been a 30, 40 pound dolphin. So it's always a good idea to cover all the bases and get that 360 degree presentation because again, every fish counts. Yeah, I'm in. Oh yeah? Yep. There you go. Oh, oh, I got a fish on here, got a fish on here. Got a fish on my long kite bait. We're doubled up here. I was helping Carlos trying to get untangled and my long kite bait that I wasn't even paying attention to got clobbered. The Benita. Bonita? Bonita, dude. Hey, it's a good fight. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, where there are Bonita, there are Blackfin. Yeah, you hit it hard, too. He I did think hit that's probably what blew you up earlier. Too. Yeah, that could be. That's we could have come like. across a big pot of bones. Woo, big bone. Woo. Oh, Ooh. he's off. Summertime, Pro. Bonita. Pro's tip presented by Pelagic Gear, official apparel provider of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Another key component to kite fishing is your floats. They come in a lot of different sizes, different colors. Oftentimes you'll see me fishing a different color floats just because it's easier to, to relate to the cameraman. You know, my short, my middle, my long. It's easy for me to say the green, the orange, you know, or the pink float. So sometimes we'll fish different colors. Today we're just fishing, you know, just the standard little pink. And the reason that we chose these today is because there's a little bit of wind and these are really streamlined. As you can imagine, 
that's gonna catch a lot more wind than that float right there. And that's gonna make a big difference. That's gonna pull your bait right out of the water and out of your spread. However, this float's also weighted. It's got a little bit of an insert, a weighted insert here, which will also help keep that bait vertical when there is a breeze. So again, it's a balance, it's a trade-off. It's always a good idea to have a variety of different floats, you know, to suit the different conditions that are out there. Again, for, you know, the different colors make it easier to see which bait is which, but that's pretty much the standard right there. That's what you'll see most guys use is that little float right there. Short just got eaten, short just got eaten. Out of the clip. He's racing yeah, down I'm the tight, north. I'm tight. Racing down Oh, north. yeah, smoking. Oh, sailfish, sailfish. That's what it looked like, actually. Nice sail. That's just it. Again, the variety. We've got a tuna on the kite. We've got Benita's crushing our kite baits, which certainly isn't unusual. And we're tight to a sailfish right here. What's awesome, really important, you hook a fish on a kite bait, you gotta really, really pay attention to your other baits. Because if there's one fish around, there's certainly a great chance that there's multiple fish with them. Little cold front came through last night, dropped the temps about 20 to 30 degrees. And I'll tell you what, the fish are reacting. You can see we're fishing that high vis line, the diamond, diamond line, 20 pound high vis. Really makes it easy to see our kite lines, to track our baits, and even to see fish, you know, to see exactly where my fish is here. We use that high vis line when we're trolling as well to track our lures behind the boat and when we're kite fishing. Those are pretty much the only two scenarios where I'll fish with that high vis line right there. Sail fishy. God, I can never get tired of looking at that. It's gonna jump. This CV draws them in, buddy. That's it, I met the leader. Awesome, brother. Hey! Awesome. Oh, hey! Nice. We're gonna try out this new folding fillet knife from Bubba Blade on these big grouper. We're gonna try to gut them and see how this thing works. Oh man, like butter. I mean, that 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 doesn't get any easier. Golly, unbelievable. Right through like butter. I love the new gut knife from Bubba Blade. It's compact, the best of all. It's like a pocket knife, man. You just close that thing up and put it away. Love it, great little knife. It's your turn to score big. Book a long-range adventure aboard the legendary Yankee Captains. Fish virgin waters more than 100 miles offshore for exotic queen snapper, trophy tilefish, monster grouper, and more. With a lifetime of experience, let Captain Greg Mercurio and his dedicated crew put you on a hot bite. Fish around the clock or just relax. With full galley and huge fish boxes, all you'll need to bring is your appetite for action. Now sailing from Key West year-round. Soft Science, on and off the water, I love these shoes. Amazingly lightweight, fast drying, stable and supportive. Based on biomechanics, Soft Science shoes reduce foot and back pain and are the most comfortable footwear I've ever worn. And when you stand on the deck of a boat all day, that makes a big difference. Anglers and boaters demand shoes that are slip resistant, non-marking and stain and odor resistant, and Soft Science delivers. Dozens of fashionable styles and colors available at softscience.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Florida Sport Fishing TV. If you're just joining us, we're aboard our Mercury powered CV370Z. I'm Captain Mike, we've got Captain Carlos up in the bow. We're out here doing a little bit of kite fishing. Started the morning really right outside Hillsboro, just a little bit to the north, kind of off Deerfield. And we just got set up on another drift here. But a couple things that I want to mention that are really, really important. You know, we talked a lot about the tackle and we're going to talk more about that in our rigging station later in really great detail. 
so you see exactly what sort of rods, reels, rigs, leaders, you know, all of the terminal gear that we're fishing. But another really essential part to successful kite fishing is rod holders. You know, I've talked about this a lot on a lot of episodes, and I'm going to say it again because it is that important. You know, the way that CB has these rod holders configured for me and really for all of their boat owners that choose to do it this way, it enables me to stand in one spot and control all three of my kite rods. I can reach over and handle my electric kite rod as well. So I've got access to all of these right within my wingspan, so to speak. And that really makes it efficient, efficient and effective to fish multiple baits easily you know, and to be able to multitask because kite fishing with three baits is all about multitasking. You've got a lot of different things going on and you've got to be able to control multiple rods. If I had to run up and down the side of the boat and I had 10 feet in between each rod, I just wouldn't be as effective as a kite fisherman and ultimately I'd probably end up losing some fish that I could have caught. So something again, as simple as the rod holder configuration, really really important you know here's a perfect scenario we're in a situation right now where the wind is very inconsistent we've got a strong breeze but then it kind of dies off and then it'll pick back up and it'll gust to 20 to 25 i know it doesn't look like it but it's from the northwest here so we're getting these strong breezes so our baits need constant attention to ensure that we've got that proper presentation. So really, you've got to take these little details into consideration if you want to take your game to the next level. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. My mid bait just got attacked. Yep, tight, tight, tight. Why is he up here? He's going to get in all my baits. Come on. Sail fishing in April, baby. All day long. Look at that. How sick is that? <laughs> Woo! Gotta get out of here, man. April, probably the last cold front of the season. Awesome fishing, awesome fishing. Check out youtube.com forward slash Florida Sport Fishing, our YouTube channel. We've got tons of instructional videos. You know, we're all about teaching you. We want you to be successful. We want you to come out here, be well prepared, have the right tackle, the right mindset. When proper execution meets optimum conditions, this is the result right here. Look at that. Big fish, big fish. Yes, sir. That's a healthy fish right there, boy. That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. And we're fishing 20 pound gear, these Daiwa Saltiga 50 H's. They've got a really high, high speed retrieve, 6.4 to one. That's really important when you're trying to get all that slack line off the kite. When that fish eats the bait, you want to be able to retrieve that line really fast. So a nice high speed reel with plenty of line capacity, super smooth drag, absolutely essential. Carlos. Yeah? Get a clean release on this, sweetie. I got, got it. it. Yep. All right. See that? Look at that. Look at the purple fins. Oh, she's oh, beautiful. look at the beautiful colors. I know, that's what I said. It's like gorgeous, right? dude. Gorgeous. Really fluorescent, look at that. I don't want to keep her out of the water too long, but no. I'll tell you, hey, that's Florida Sport Fishing TV. We'll be right back. Goodbye. Goodbye. Rigging Station, presented by Diamond Fishing Products, the finest monofilament, fluorocarbon, and braided fishing line in the world. Hey guys, at this episode's Rigging Station, I want to talk to you real quick about release clips. It's a small detail, but it's really important. These release clips, there's a lot of moving parts, and I'll tell you what, I don't care what brand it is, they tend to corrode and get a little bit dirty. You've gotta take care of these release clips. A sticky clip can easily cost you a quality fish. Worse yet, that clip doesn't open as intended. A fish can pull your kite down, your other lines, and you end up in a huge mess, and that's the last thing that you want when you're out there. Again, there's some moving parts on these release clips. There's a little tension screw, the release mechanism. I like to inspect them prior to each trip. Every now and then I take something like a little bit of real shield. It's a cleaner, a lubricant, a protectant, has a little syringe needle. Real easy to drop just a little bit of lube right on that screw, the tension screw, right on the release mechanism. Make sure that this is operating flawlessly because I'll tell you what, it's a small detail, but like I said, it can make a huge difference out on the water. 
you know, real important when you're letting your kite out, before you let it fly, take a second and just check it. Make sure that your, your bridle line here is entangled. Make sure that your spars, you know, are firmly set into position. On these SFE kites, you can see these little white hash marks on the back of the spars. Make sure that they're all lined up in the same direction. Make sure your line's not twisted around the spar. You know, these small little nuances will make a huge difference as to how that kite flies. So make sure that you do all of that and, you know, that little inspection process before you let that baby rip. Florida Sport Fishing is the number one magazine for resident and visiting anglers. Each giant issue is packed with informative editorials, easy to follow illustrations, and tips to keep you hooked up. Subscribe today and I'll deliver the magazine to your home for only four cents a day. Visit fsftv.com right now and I'll also include a hat, unlimited access to Florida Sport Fishing Digimag for your tablet and phone, and a special gift to keep you cool on and off the water. Joey Accardi Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram reminds you that before you can do this, you have to do this. And before you can do that, you're going to need this. Save thousands on every new Ram truck at Joey Accardi in Pompano Beach. Family owned and operated and bringing South Florida our best deals for over 25 years. So before you can do this, do this. And before you can do this, you have to do this. Visit joeyaccardicdjr.com. Fortress, the world's best anchors. Stronger, faster, lighter. High-tech aluminum alloy makes Fortress anchors the easiest to handle. Precision machining and sharpening results in the fastest setting anchor. Fortress buries deep for the strongest holding power. With eight models from four to 69 pounds, there's a Fortress anchor for you. Fortress, stronger, faster, lighter. Florida Sport Fishing TV proudly utilizes and endorses Motor Guide Trolling Motors. Precise control and accuracy in challenging conditions means better fishing. Tropic Trailer, Florida's largest trailer dealer has the right boat, cargo, or utility trailer at the right price. BioGreen Clean, the first heavy duty, environmentally friendly multi-surface cleaner that actually works. Tsunami, hard plastic poppers and stick baits designed to deplete local fish populations. Please practice catch and release. Frigid Rigid, from 35 to 300 quarts, the finest coolers, fish coffins, and freezers on the water. Coming tight, coming tight. Oh yeah. Selfish on See, the long. I told you, your long was going bonkers. You know, I'm fighting this fish. Something that we don't talk a lot about, and that's really, really important, is the reliability of your outboards. You know, our CV, our 370Z, outfitted with triple 350 Verados. I talked to so many guys at the boat shows about these engines, they're skeptical, you know, they've heard different rumors. I'll tell you what, you cannot get a more dependable, more reliable outboard engine than that Verado 350. These things are running all day, in any conditions, they never miss a beat. They've got a ton of thrust, a ton of mid-range thrust. Their performance is exceptional, but I think more important than anything else that I can tell you is the reliability. You know, when we're out here filming a show, I can't afford to have a problem with these engines. And Mercury has really done an exceptional job, an exceptional job with these 350s. You know, you're really starting to see them everywhere and for good reason it's a phenomenal motor it's all there is to it it's light it's small extremely powerful very fuel efficient what more can you ask for so for me i'm a mercury guy i'm a believer you know i'm a believer because the engines have proved to me they've made me a believer this thing is just dumping me that's why I'm not real. I mean, line is just peeling off the spool. And I mean, again, I know I, I can't stop them. You know, you've got a 60, 70 pound sailfish going the other way. You're not just gonna slam on the brakes and stop that fish with 20 pound test. But when he turns and he gives you an opportunity to gain some line, you take it. A little bit at a time. 
You know, always keeping that line tight. Any slack whatsoever, very easy for that fish to shake that hook out. You don't know where that hook is. Could be right in the corner of his mouth, could be in a bony area where you've got a really good connection, or just barely in there and wearing a larger and larger hole with every second. And so you don't know. So I fight every fish with caution. Now the latest tactic for reeling in sailfish is you put the rod in a rod holder. <laughs> do you that? Just, just crank. Is that like grumpy old men style? They just, just sit like back this, in the man. back? <laughs> just, you catch That's sailfish com commercial like Commercial fisherman <laughs> style right there. Hey, if you don't have fun, you know, I, I can't stress it enough. Fishing is about fun. Being out on the water, having a good time with friends, family, creating memories that are going to last a lifetime. You're in 270, buddy. Just so you know. You're going to be there for a little while. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. This guy just does not want to give up. That's okay, though. I'm in no rush. Did you lose nice. him? Nice. Wow, he's pretty. And there it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gonna go ahead, get another clean release on another beautiful South Florida sale. And that wraps up another episode of Florida Sport Fishing TV. Remember to check us out online to get official Florida Sport Fishing gear. Check out floridasportfishing.com. We're gonna let you go, sweetheart. You put up a great fight, and we're out of here. To learn more about the tactics and techniques seen on today's show, and to subscribe to Florida Sport Fishing Magazine, visit floridasportfishing.com and get hooked up.